I'm Dr. Randy Neal, and in this video, I'm going to answer that question of, you know, am I studying the right way for the uh, for the step exam? And this is this is kind of a question I, I do get a lot. Uh, is you know, people will say I, I'm doing all this kind of work. This is the material that I have, and am I am I doing the right thing? And and really, there's no specific answer to say yes or no. But you know, my take-home point from from going through this process is is just a few things. And I would say, you know, are you using the right material? And when I say the right material is, you know, you don't want stuff that's too much. You know, if you start getting over overwhelmed from multiple sources, you know, it, it just becomes too much. I mean, this test already has so much information that we have to learn. You're better off kind of fine tuning it. And, you know, my recommendation at the minimum is going to be, you know, you, you use YouTube, you use UWorld and Pathoma. And I'd say with those are the basics, uh, pretty much the must have. When it comes to that QBank, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, some people have their own opinions about different ones, but, you know, go with material that's proven. And, you know, the one that's been around the, one of the longest, uh, at least in my, in, in my estimation, has, has been the U-World. Uh, you know, I used it, um, a lot of my friends have used it and been pretty successful. So, again, you're using the, the proven systems and, you know, U-World uh, is one that goes through pretty much all the concepts. And like I stressed before, is you're not using UWorld as your assessment piece. You're not using UWorld to, to really click through the answer choice to see if you get them right or wrong. You, are, you should strictly be using UWorld as an informational piece to help you organize the, organize the concepts. And then if you don't understand the question that's explained in UWorld, that's when you would go to YouTube and hopefully find somebody that can explain that concept to you in, in a very simple way. Uh, in a simple format, you know, I look for the. I always used to look for those videos that were less than 10 minutes, um, so I didn't have to sit there for 30 minutes trying to figure out something through some boring PowerPoint. But understand the concept from the U World question, and then of course there's just Pathoma. Um, the, the, the guy is pretty much phenomenal when it comes to, to his ability to teach, and I think he has an excellent job uh, of just uh, breaking it down to to manageable pieces and 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 pretty uh, memorable uh, per se to where you can actually recall the information later. So, you know, YouTube, UWorld, Pathoma at the minimum. The second piece is gonna be to actually determine what your assessment piece is gonna be. Uh, because you don't wanna, in my estimation, you don't wanna use UWorld or the QBanks as your assessment piece because everything is kinda tied into the questions uh, themselves. You know, use that external source. Use the, um, you know, use the NBME. Uh, those are the guys that, that that write the test. So I would say, you know, once you feel like you're at a point where you're going to say, okay, let me assess where I'm at. You know, take the NBMEs and, and see how you do. Take them uh, religiously per se, meaning, uh, you know, take it all at one time and see really where you measure up because typically your score from the NBME, from what I've been told, you know, and I say what I've been told, yeah, I don't know if that really goes across, you know, those message boards where you really can't trust people per se, uh, but it's basically, it's a good, yeah, your, your score is usually a plus minus 10 uh, pretty much either way and from the people that I've talked to and even from my own experience is that if you use the NBME for your assessment piece, uh, I, th I think you'll be reasonably accurate uh, because I hear stories all the time, people saying, well, with UWorld, I got a, I got this score and NBME, I was here, what should I do? And my advice is always just, you know, stick with NBME. I mean, that's, that's the complexity, that's the level of the question that you should be expected to know when it comes to the, uh, to the STEP exam. The third point is going to pick material that fits your, that fits your schedule and also fits your learning style. And when I say fits your schedule is, this just goes back to not pulling in too much information. Uh, when I first started, you know, you start talking to people and, you know, you pass those memory sticks around the classroom and, you know, it was like, oh, well, this person's got this material and, and here's the videos from this person. And, you know, eventually that, it just becomes too much. So, you know, if your schedule is you're going to allot X number of hours to study, make sure you're using those, those hours efficiently. And you know maybe you don't need to watch all the all the Kaplan videos, or you know maybe you don't need to review just DIT where you're just going through the to the step one book uh, and stuff like that. You know find find the material that fits exactly your schedule. And what I mean by learning style 
is most of us, you know, majority of us are probably are probably visual learners, and some of us are auditory learners. But find out, find which one works best for you, because you know there's different systems out there. You know, if you're a visual learner, there's that uh, Sketchy Medical, I believe it is now. Back in my day, it was Sketchy Micro when they were first coming out. You know, I liked it. Uh, I'm more of that visual piece. Uh, that's why I like to write things out or draw them out in my own way. It's because that helps me kind of memorize it. I have all those little uh, laminated sheets um, again, because I'm, I'm more of a visual person. But if you're if you're more that aud auditory, uh, then perhaps you know listening to Goyans, you know uh, lectures that are out there would be a, a good piece for you. Um, I did those too, um, but but perhaps you know play to your strength and you know find out which one works for you and just kind of narrow your focus. Uh, you know be efficient in your studying. What I'd also recommend is be careful of these study groups. Sometimes, um, you know, if, you know, studying with a with a partner can be pretty effective if you're both on the same page. Uh, but I always say, be careful of the of the the group sessions that you plan out, because uh, as you know, a lot of times these just turn into you know social social environments, and um, a lot of a lot of time gets lost um, in the mix of all the little conversations. And then, I mean, it's it's nice being around people who are sharing the same experience because. Um, a lot of times you can you can kind of share how you're feeling and they and they feel the same way, and it is a feel good moment. Um, but at the end of the day, the whole purpose of what you're trying to do here, what of what even we're trying to accomplish, is that it's all about passing. Okay, hands down, it's just all about flat out passing this exam so you can get to the next step, um, literally, and you know just kind of moving forward with your career. But the the biggest hurdle in all of this is going to be that that step one exam. So, you know, be efficient. Um, you know, if you're, when I say studying the right way, YouTube, your world, Pathoma, um, make sure you just got the, the right material and don't get bogged down with a lot of distractions. And ultimately, it's all about just uh, get past step one and keep moving forward.